If you guys can mute, hold on, I gotta mute you guys. Somebody, something is still, okay. Greetings, beloveds. The chaos that ensues through the mind is the distraction. If you can be led into the pathways of confusion, you will never find. It is like a, a maze. You will never find your way back to the truth. Use the lessons of the course to continue to train the mind so that what you do choose is the pathway, the doorway that leads you to the truth. In that truth, in that light and in that love, there is no judgment for self or others. There is the revelation, the awareness, that all are one. The circumstances that you choose to use to say, that can't be. The fear that you choose at any particular moment to say, I am separate from, I am separate than, we are not one, we are not the same. This is indeed the making of the confusion, the making of the illusion. this journey that you have all agreed to prior to this incarnation, this coming together, this group of you, holds such a powerful frequency of love for one another. As you allow yourselves to see and to recall the incarnations, the stories, the weaving of lifetimes, you will come to be, see that you are all brought forth together in this collective, in this consortium, this tribe. To create such a focal point of light that it pierces the veil so strongly each of you emit a frequency, frequency of light, a frequency of love that is closer than even six degrees of separation, if you will. You all have your parts and you all have your roles to play as you begin to speak our words through your mouth, as you begin to hear our words through your thoughts, as you begin to take actions of generosity and love, surrender, allowance, and you begin to meld. You begin to form into this laser-like pinpoint of focused love and consciousness, Christ consciousness, and you begin to crystallize and you begin to reflect more light and more love. Each of you are on your chosen path, beloveds. Each one of you has a personal and direct relationship with me. Come closer. Know that I am here with you always. We open now this forum for questions. Allow your hearts to come forth with questions. 
that can serve all. What is it that you want to remember? What is it that you want to know, beloveds? How can we be of service to all? What fears do you have that need to be allayed? Hi, I have a question. It's Louise. And in meditation, um, I had a connection with you and you were speaking of yourself as Sananda and referencing Ashtar and Galactic Federation. Um, so you being Commander Sananda, could you share more with us about that? and our connection to you as Sananda. There is indeed a collective beloved that is known as Sananda, that is known as Ananda, that is known as Archangel Michael, that is known as Yeshua. These are different roles, these are different costumes, these are different hats, these are different aspects of the same dynamic. You are all members of this collective. You are all members of Ananda. You are all members of the galactic forces. You take on different roles. You yourselves wear different hats and different uniforms. You toil here on this earthly plane and have been shoemakers and blacksmiths and dairy farmers. And you have been executives and you have been lieutenants and generals. When the aspect of my beingness takes on the frequency of Sananda. It means that I have elevated to the frequency within the 11th dimension where there is a point of view that allows to see more than being in the third, fourth, fifth, or the lower dimensions. There is a greater frequency and aperture of light that is allowed to extend, that has a greater responsibility, that has a greater calling, that has a greater understanding. And as we alter that frequency to allow transmissions, there is, as there is with each of you beloveds, within consciousness, a memory, a source memory. You beloved are being asked to awaken to your role. You beloved are being asked to allow yourself to remember your place at my side. The gift that you have honed, the gift that you have been granted, that you have allowed yourself to form, is arguing and struggling with the aspect of ego that you have referred to as your imposter syndrome. We think this is well named. Yet understand, beloved, that the true imposter is the egoic aspect it says that I am not seated at the right hand of Sananda. I am not one of the beings who helps to direct this entire dynamic. I am not the being that is worthy 
that is the true imposter, beloved, for all of you. That which seeks to say, I could not be a being of that great amplitude, that is the true imposter. When you come to realize that truly, beloveds, it is all upside down and backwards. when you come to understand that that which you have believed to be real is in fact illusion and all that you have believed to be made up airy fairy existing in the mind of those who are crazy and insane, you will come to realize the truth of you. So beloved Louise, we say to you, it is time for you to remember your role. It is time for you to remember your truth. Allow yourself to grant entry to the collective, to remember your role, for it is time for your awakening, beloved, which is why we come and we speak to you. Will you allow yourself to remember yourself as a general in the great army? the army of light, the warriors of light that you are. Will you allow yourself to awaken to your own truth, beloved? You put yourself into the training that you have, connecting to the angelics and all the work that you have done to bring yourself forth with the clarity that you do, your fears are being allayed and minimized. But the fear, understand, beloved, is born of the ego. And that is indeed the aspect of you that feels is not real. The others are quite real. So General, we ask you now, are you willing to remember? Are you willing to allow yourself say, here I stand. Yes, Commander Sananda. <laughs> Indeed. We love you and we thank you for your query. This recognition is indeed the truth of you, beloved. We thank you for your courage. All of you will continue to have revelations. What will be revealed to you is indeed the posts and the roles that you, you each hold. There is such joy when you are willing to step back into the light for us, for us to behold you and your magnificence. We love you all. We thank you for your awakening. We thank you for your remembering, for your allowing, for your accepting the truth of you. Go with God, beloveds, for that is the truth of you. Our blessings upon you always, and we shall speak with you again. Awesome.